doing the church today, starting with Sunday school. Sunday school was great, concerning as things on our own, we should have different devices, especially things like idol that's, that's made on our own. Let's not worship that, but be sure that we worship God. He is God and the only God that we have. Father Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And in worship, it was very great. God is, He always loved us all. And He loved us so much, it's not, a, it's, we didn't love it like we normally do, but God loved us all the time. But anyway, at this particular time, I am not thirsty anymore. Today's service, um, I never knew love like this before. I have been struggling with that for a long time. But I understand, the older I got, the more I understood. So today's service was awesome. It really was. Um, Pastor Joyce did an awesome job. Um, praise team did an awesome job today. I'm on that praise team, so I love that we did what we were supposed to do today. Today we have Brother Colin Creighton, and he's going to endow us about what he learned about today's sermon from Pastor Joyce, our guest speaker. What I learned about today um, is don't be thirsty. And what I what I liked about this sermon is how he put a name title or part of a part of a song into his assignment. So so yeah, today don't be thirsty. Today we have Pastor uh, Robert Joyce's wife and their granddaughter with us today, and she's going to endow us on what she learned from today's sermon. Never love, never knew love like this before. In his uh, second entitled, I will call "Don't Be So Thirsty." Ha ha! That's good. That's good. Um, hello, everybody. Yeah, I truly enjoyed uh, Pastor George's word on today. Not just because of his wife, but that's because he knows how to break down the word of God and explain yeah. it to us where we can understand it, even like a child can understand it. And we have to know that the love of God is a love that we'll never ever experience. That he was being the love of God is unconditional and it's a love like we never knew before. And we don't have to thirst for it because it's big. And he's willing to give us life water that will never run dry. So God bless you and we'll 